What is a Windows domain? A Windows domain is a network of computers that share a central database of user accounts, security policies, and other settings. What is a Group Policy Object, GPO? A Group Policy Object, GPO, is a collection of settings that define how computers and users are managed in a Windows domain. What is Active Directory and what are its main components? Active Directory is a directory service used to manage network resources in a Windows domain. Its main components include domains, domain controllers, and objects such as users and computers. How do you troubleshoot networking issues in Windows? To troubleshoot networking issues in Windows, you can use tools such as Ping, Tracert, and IP protocol configuration to test connectivity and identify configuration problems. What is a Windows Server Failover Cluster? A Windows Server Failover Cluster is a group of servers that work together to provide high availability for applications and services by automatically failing over to a secondary server if the primary server fails. How do you configure and manage DHCP in Windows Server? To configure and manage DHCP in Windows Server, you can use the DHCP Management Console to create and manage DHCP scopes, leases, and options. What is the difference between a workgroup and a domain? A workgroup is a collection of computers that share resources without a central directory service. A domain is a collection of computers that share resources and are managed by a central directory service such as Active Directory. What is a domain name system, DNS, and how is it used in Windows? The domain name system, DNS, is a naming system used to translate domain names into IP addresses. In Windows, DNS is used to resolve computer names and manage network traffic. What is Windows Remote Management, WinRM, and how is it used? Windows Remote Management, WinRM, is a protocol used to manage and troubleshoot remote Windows servers. It is used to execute commands, manage services, and perform other administrative tasks. How do you configure and manage file and print services in Windows Server? To configure and manage file and print services in Windows Server, you can use tools such as the File and Storage Services Management Console to create and manage file shares, configure quotas, and manage print servers and printers. What is Windows PowerShell and how is it used for automation? Windows PowerShell is a command line shell and scripting language designed for system administration. It is used for automation and management of Windows-based systems. How do you configure and manage Remote Desktop Services, RDS, in Windows Server? Remote Desktop Services allows users to connect to remote desktops and applications. To configure and manage RDS, you need to install the RDS role, configure the Remote Desktop Gateway, Remote Desktop Connection Broker, Remote Desktop Session Host, and Remote Desktop Web Access. What is a virtualization technology and how is it used in Windows Server? Virtualization technology allows multiple operating systems to run on a single physical server. Windows Server includes Hyper-V, which is used to create and manage virtual machines. How do you configure and manage Windows Server Backup? Windows Server Backup is used to create and manage backups of data and system settings. To configure and manage Windows Server Backup, you need to install the backup feature and then create backup schedules and recovery options. What is Windows Deployment Services, WDs, and how is it used? Windows Deployment Services is used to deploy Windows operating systems over the network. It is used to create and manage images of Windows and to deploy those images to multiple computers. What is the difference between Server Core and Server with a GUI installation options? Server Core is a minimal installation option of Windows Server that includes only the essential components. Server with a GUI includes a graphical user interface, GUI, and additional components. 
How do you configure and manage Hyper-V virtual machines in Windows Server? To configure and manage Hyper-V virtual machines in Windows Server, you need to install the Hyper-V role and then create and configure virtual machines, virtual switches, and virtual hard disks. What is Microsoft System Center and how is it used for centralized management? Microsoft System Center is a suite of tools used for centralized management of IT infrastructure. It includes tools for managing servers, desktops, applications, and services, as well as monitoring, reporting, and automation. What is the difference between a local user account and a domain user account? A local user account is created and managed on a single computer while a domain user account is created and managed in Active Directory and can be used to access resources on multiple computers in a network. How do you troubleshoot issues with Active Directory replication? To troubleshoot issues with Active Directory replication, you need to use tools like RepAdmin, Diag, and Event Viewer to check for errors, diagnose the problem, and fix any issues with replication between domain controllers. What is a Security Descriptor Definition Language, SDDL, and how is it used in Windows? SDDL is a string format used to define security descriptors in Windows. It's used in different parts of Windows, such as File System and Registry, to set permissions and access control lists, ACLs. How do you configure and manage remote access in Windows Server? There are different ways to configure remote access in Windows Server, including VPN and direct access. The process involves setting up the appropriate network policies and routing rules, as well as configuring authentication and encryption settings. What is a distributed file system, DFS, and how is it used in Windows Server? DFS is a feature in Windows Server that allows users to access files located on multiple servers as if they were on a single file share. It helps with load balancing, redundancy, and centralized management of file shares. How do you configure and manage Windows Firewall? Windows Firewall is a built-in feature in Windows that provides basic protection against network attacks. To configure and manage it, You can use the Windows Firewall with Advanced Security Console, where you can set inbound and outbound rules, customize notifications, and manage logging and auditing settings. What is a Certificate Authority, CA, and how is it used in Windows? A Certificate Authority is an entity that issues digital certificates used to secure network communication. In Windows, there are different types of CAs including enterprise CAs and standalone CAs. They can be used to issue certificates for various purposes, such as securing web traffic, authenticating users, and encrypting emails. Why is it worth subscribing to our YouTube channel? By subscribing to our YouTube channel, you will have access to a wealth of knowledge and insights about automation testing from industry experts, which can help you stay ahead of the curve in your career.